Hurricane Matthew devastated Haiti and left thousands of people homeless, but locals are saying that international aid isn't reaching the most affected communities. WUFT's Amari Sablon traveled to the south of Haiti to see how Haitians are recovering with the help of local nonprofits. Fallen trees, debris everywhere, lives lost. This is what the south of Haiti currently looks like after Hurricane Matthew hit the island just a little over a week ago. Most of the homes are in ruins and people don't even have simple things like water. People are fighting over water. I went into people's houses just to bring the water to them. They don't have a drop of water, which is like the basics. Nonprofits on the ground, such as Haiti's Health Education Project, are reaching the remote communities to distribute food, medicine, clothes, and what's most important right now, water. With a team of nine, the NGO drove from the capital to the south for more than seven hours to deliver 1,000 water purification bottles enough to clean 185,000 gallons of water. They weren't prepared for what they encountered. There's no life here, like, not at all. I, and it's really, really sad to see that the people still stick around here because they don't have any other place to go than just right next to their broken house. This was the first time many in the South received any type of help since the hurricane hit. They say most of the help and international donations and up going to the big cities, with those in the remote villages and most affected parts receiving almost nothing. I've been reading that a lot of help has been um, getting to the people, but I come myself because I want to see, and I am a witness that they have not received anything. Bohaitians remain hopeful. They're resilient, and are already working to recover from one of the worst catastrophes to hit the country. Amari Sablon, WUFT News.